This is part four of our series on creating photorealistic scenes in Unity based on Lightwave uh, files. And one of the things that we're doing today is working with the plants. So what I've got in the room uh, are some very simple plant models. And I've got really nice textures on them. They rendered beautifully. And we're going to try to create something as similar, similar to that uh, here in Unity. Now one thing you'll notice while we're doing this is that if I take these textures and add them to the uh, to the albedo mask on the inspector for each of these leaves, it comes out looking a little bit weird. You've got a little bit of gray area around the out, the edges. And the reason for that is, even if we set this to transparent, which, which we have it set to currently, um, it still, it still treats part of the uh, texture as as opaque. It's just not completely, It's, it's the fall off isn't exactly what we want on that texture. Um, and we're going to address that but first what I'm going to do is just kind of add some of these other I want to make sure all these uh, textures are in here and so uh, if you'll notice the material name on the left on the right side of the screen is very similar to the actual texture name on the left side in fact it's identical so that makes this job very easy we're just going to look for names that are the same in the left side as the material name on the right side and we're going to drag and drop them um, into the first channel of all of these um, of all of these textures and so we're going to do that for well, for all of these and just drag and drop that's all you have to do and missing this one and there's that Okay, now let's look around. Well, the wireframe um, is kind of getting in the way here, so let's hit play and take a look at it. All right, so the, you can see the uh, this basically has rectangular leaves at this point. They've got gray edges. Other than that, the colors look pretty good. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's try changing this to cut out. Change this one to cut out. Actually, we'll look for the ones that have leaf um, graphics and ch change only those to cut out. There we go. Okay, that looks better, but it's really dark straight throughout the whole thing. I'm not quite sure that's what we want. It might be. We might come back to that later and decide that that's better looking than what we're about to do here. But I think if we use the um, nature shader and then use the uh, tree creator leaves shader, it will actually make these look better or at least nicer. Yeah, so that doesn't look bad. That that's actually looking pretty good. You know, uh, not as nice as the photo as the 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 rendered version, but it's pretty nice for this. And if you'll notice, there was no well, there's no uh, rectangular gray area around the tip. Unity does not do real-time subdivision. It's important to remember that. 
If you have something that needs to be subdivided, you need to do it yourself. So one thing I've noticed is that the plants appear to be slightly different and I think that that is a result of lighting and I suspect that if we were to um, go in here and let's make sure we're at the right one or at the same one I suspect if we go in here and tune the lighting a little bit and to get to the lighting window lighting tab I went to window menu and then went to lighting which is uh, here and I suspect that I can just um, that when we later get around to lighting uh, in general this is going to largely be something we can affect by changing the ambient color I mean the ambient light um, and this is all, really it's also going to come down to differences in the uh, nature natural leaf shader that we're using for this but it should look pretty good it should look you know relatively similar to this so we'll get to that later the other thing that I noticed though is that when we walk around in the scene um, we're kind of high off the ground compared to where I stuck the cameras uh, for the panoramic shot here and this is not uh, th this is actually just a result of where I thought the cameras would look good by sticking them in the scene it's not really a reflection of uh, the design of the scene it's not Chris's fault it's my fault basically um, so to, to make this a little easier to, to see the difference between the two because I don't feel like re-rendering these shots um, I'm going to simply lower the camera and to do that in unity what we're going to do is um, stop the play thing because if you if you make changes while it's in play uh, those changes are not saved so what we want to go do is go to the first person character control uh, first person controller and then look for the first person character thingy underneath that go to the inspector that's where the camera is the way this works is this upper uh, part of the of the hierarchy is what is moving you around and the lower part um, is what is uh, looking around basically so we're going to grab this camera and we're just going to lower this a little bit and probably the easiest way to make sure that we've lowered this properly is to actually walk over to a wall uh, where we have a, um, a render already let's take a look here we are just underneath the looks like the uh, we're kind of parallel with this line of, of um, if I move this to dead center we're parallel to the middle of this decoration here which we don't have on our shelf yet but clearly we're too high to, to see that right there so we're gonna we're gonna pause it lower the camera down a little bit and because we are in play mode this is just about right and because, but because we're in play mode here um, if we hit if I hit play if I stop playing play we revert back and now everything we just did is lost so I'm gonna do it again and here's how you get around that you walk over to where you want to be right you pause it and 
move this thing down to roughly where it is, where, roughly where you want it. It's, yeah, it's a rub power, right? Right about there. And now we're going to go over this little gear and click it and do copy component. And now we're going to hit the play again to, to come back out of play mode and go back to the copy component, but get back to the gear and do paste component values. Okay. And that's going to stick us back into the same um, spot there. That looks really low though. That can't be right, is it? Oh, that actually probably is right. The character controller here, right, is not actually on the ground. And we don't want it on the, we don't want it zeroed. I'm being stupid. Zero would stick him in the ground. We want him kind of standing on the ground, so somewhere around there. All right. So now when we hit play, we are just about right. So now if we go back over to this, this plant and look at it and swap to our version here, we should be about the same eye level. Yeah, that's about right. Ta-da! Now the plant looks a little different. We're in a little slightly different place here in the scene. Let me see if I can line that up just a little better. And again, we're going to play with uh, the leaves and the, and the general geometry here to make this as close as possible as we get a little farther down the road. But the first step in all of this is we want, I want to make this as close as possible with just the straight textures, make sure all the obvious stuff is taken care of, and then we're going to get into fine tuning. That ends for today. Uh, tune in tomorrow and we'll probably do more textures. Um, I might do some of this stuff uh, just to speed things along, I might do it throughout the day and not record that, but uh, get the general gist of what we're doing here. We're going through here, we're looking for any objects that don't have textures on them and adding textures. Um, any objects that look like they uh, aren't rendering properly, we'll look at, at why that might be, and we'll probably cover all of those in videos. Uh, so tune in tomorrow for more of this. Thanks.